Here with Commander's Coach Dan Quinn joining Ian Rappaport and myself, Mike Garofalo, here at Commander's Camp. We are seven practices in. You got the motto right across your chest. <laughs> Where, how has the work been seven practices in? Yeah, well, one, it's good to have you guys here, man, and to uh, get to see, you know, the club, our identity, you know, the effort, all that to go. But uh, you're right, that's what this time of year is about. Uh, roles for players, identity, all the things that you know, transpire during training camp. That's what this time is about. So it's cool to have you guys here with us. A lot of one-on-ones today, a lot of competing player against player. I know guys are tired. We're sort of in the grind of camp, but how much are you learning about about your players and kind of where they fit in, fit in the hierarchy of the team and all that? Yeah, that's awesome because I think it's, it is the competition that everything's going to be about, whether it's one-on-ones or red zone or situations and that iron sharpening iron, the better we get at that, you know, we'll just continue to improve. And so it's competing against the other guy, yourself, you know, can I put the bar higher? And so seeing the guys really put out and finding new spots, new levels, uh, it's really cool to see. In the brief time that we've been here today talking to players, uh, coaches, staff members, they're talking about how smooth everything has gone here to start training camp. As a second time head coach, uh, who was very successful in your first run, I don't want to say easy because nothing we do is, is easy, but how beneficial to have that experience yeah. to lean on this time around. Yeah, it's huge. Uh, I think when you're first doing something, any of us in any of our first jobs, you didn't even know what you didn't know and you learned on the way. When you have some space and some time in between to say, I would like to do that differently, I would like to do that differently. We started training camp this year in the red zone and that was something you know we hadn't done That's previously to put that part of the, the game in right away. It's so important less distance so safer for the players in that spot and so like that would be one example of hey how can we do something better and try to find a new way and a new attitude to go do it i know you haven't named him the starting quarterback yet but it's safe to say a lot of eyeballs are on Jaden daniels your number two overall pick we saw him out here behind us he can throw it um what have you seen from him physically and then what we don't see mentally preparation wise yeah he's off to a remarkable start um he's got an ideal blend of confidence and humility. He's got the young player hunger, work ethic, humility to, to show, but also the confidence to go. He's not just throwing it well, he's playing the position well, mm. in and out of a check, change of protection, good decisions You know, for the open pass versus the shot, or w not just throwing, but playing the position. And so I had high expectations for him coming in, you know, Adam and his staff and myself, we've done so much work on the quarterback. So we knew Jaden really well coming right. in here. And so he's exceeded those high expectations that, you know, we'd hope we'd see. He dropped one in the bucket today to Terry McLaurin up the left side. What a beautiful pass there. The crowd, uh, the crowd's excited for training camp and commander yeah, football cool. in general. So Has it always been this going. way? Uh, has not always been this way. We were here. We'll tell you all about that. But um, uh, just watching him and the way that he interacts, you know, he, he came up to say hello to us. Uh, and as he's leaving, Charlie, one of your media relations guy, which, which by the way, you had one of the best media relations staffs in the league. I got you, Sean. Uh, <laughs> you know, he's walking by Charlie and just gives him a boom right there, you know, right there. And you could see, you know, the, the, the air of calmness. And the, I mean, is that what representative of what he's been as far as yes. that personality that he shows? Yeah, and there's a number of other guys in this rookie class like, Mikey Sainer still and Jaden Daniels both have like a confidence, but in a very good way that the older guys, they're already little brother. Come here, come on, come on. And so they That's respect cool. them because of their work, their performances, and they're both not trying to be anybody else, their own person. And so I think, you know, early for me, you know, you thought about leadership, it's what you think you can do, but really when you had other experienced head coaches finding the leaders and everybody else. And so yeah, guys yeah. like Jaden and uh, Mikey and Wags and Zach and you know Marcus and others, mm -hmm. their leadership is coming out in their own way, and so that's what's been really cool to see. I don't, you didn't hire Bobby Wagner and Austin Eckler and Zach Ertz as assistant coaches, no. so I do not want to make it seem <laughs> Correct. like they are I appreciate that. people on your coaching. They staff. are not because they are good players, yes. and it, so it sounds like off to really really good starts here. Uh, but what kind of leadership can they bring to, to some of the young guys as you're really kind of setting the foundation here? And uh, there's a number of, of people here, um, coaches and players, that have won the last game of the season. And so that's important um, for yeah. people to know championship standards, they're not tacked on at the end of a championship. You have to have them before and that leads to playing well. So guys like Wags or Zach have just standards that they operate in a meeting room, in workouts, on the practice field, 
how they communicate with one another. Those are the things. I didn't want them to be anybody else. I wanted them right. to be themselves fully turned up. And that didn't have to over try or do anything else. Just let people see what excellent standards look like, what hmm. championship standards look like. And we're going to lean on people who have those because the more people that do, we'll get to our whole organization, player, coaches, everything with those standards faster. I want to get back to Eckler because as the male physique goes, doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> Dude, I can hear you. I'm right here. Offensive. Uh, he looks like he's in great shape. And he looks like mentally he's got a little bit of an edge to him. Yeah, the, the best moments are when you have something to prove. And uh, he is that player. He's so intentional about the things he does. You may, if you'd come tomorrow, you might see him do an individual with the wide receivers. You know, guys that can play more That's than one position uh -huh. have unique traits. Can a safety play backer? Can a backer go down to rush? Can a running back have wide receiver stuff? Can a wide receiver be in the backfield? And so you have to find little spaces to work on those because it may not just be a swing route for him or, you know, a, a quick comeback. Like he's going to run routes that are down the field that you have to cover and play in the slot. And so when you have matchups that you can find with a guy like Austin, you want to make sure you're training him in that way too. Plus, good bald head. Yes. Ugh. God, you bald guys just got to stick Although, together. Although, you know what? Yeah, well, yeah, you can ask the next question. Well, no, I'm gonna we, got, <laughs> we, got, we got no more. DQ. We're done? I love you it. the man. That's it. Oh, my We're God. out. Yeah, no, I didn't get a hat. DQ, thank you very much for joining us. Have an awesome rest of training camp. We really appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, man. Pumped to have thank you guys you, here. Get that working.